Well, this one has a picture on the outside of it, so we already know what it is. It's a Stirling engine with a generator, and, ooh, this one, I can't tell. It doesn't look like it's a kit. It looks like it's all assembled. Uh, yes, it looks all assembled. Ooh, ooh. I don't know what that is. That must be like a lamp or something. Okay, so there's a few parts to put on, but overall, looks pretty darn cool. Okay, well, let me go uh, pull the packaging apart and see what else we got. So all that was in these other packages was the uh, little alcohol flame, which goes under here, and then a spare glass cylinder, which I'm not sure I like that idea that they need to send you a spare, but okay, well, that's it. This one was pretty easy, so uh, let's go give it a shot. Okay, first run. Flames lit. Not sure which way this thing's going to want to turn. The one that I have that has a stainless steel cylinder out here heats up a lot faster. Acts like it's trying. Come on, Betsy. Okay, and down here's our little LED from our from our generator, so you can see that operating. A little faster, a little faster. I'll bet it would really run if that generator were not on there. Yeah, not too bad. Might have to do another video where I uh, measure the output from the generator. I just added a little graphite lubrication to the metal on metal components. Not the glass to glass or glass to metal, of course. But it makes a lot of difference in speed and smooth operation and quietness. Okay, well that's it for this video on this Sterling engine with a generator. I hope you find it useful and interesting in your Sterling engine experimentation.